I was with chapter one, so we're on chapter two. It's gonna get good. We're back on the forester lands. They can't touch us here. <laughs> Piggy. Result. Uh oh. Fresh. Dead piggy. Like, look how piggly that fence is. What the fuck? That looks so weird. I don't remember The Walking Dead being so pixelated, but maybe I'm just remembering. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Dead pig, some blood. This should be interesting. Cart? Uh oh. Like I just teleported. <laughs> but they have teleportation back in those times in Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's Father's car. Uh oh. His father's a pig farmer. There's blood. His cart's turned over. Um, this probably isn't going well. What, if we're taking a fucking pig farmer? Oh, you fucks. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. This is father. I said move on. <clears throat> Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. And so will you, Where'd you fox. You get that sword? <clears throat> Not a chance that sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now why don't I believe you? <clears throat> that sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <clears throat> oh boy. No. <clears throat> I'll have that sword boy. <clears throat> ah, so sorry guys. Sword. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. Nancy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. Hmm. I have no quarrel. Should have thought that before you killed my family. Fuck you. Lord White Eel will see you hang for this. <clears throat> Throw the sword at him quick. I promise. Who's Brit? Who is Brit? Father? Garrett, 
you survived. Your, your sister. Oh, she hid. Oh, shit. Sister's dead, too. I tried to stop them. Oh, fuck. That's screwed up, man. Well, Garrett's definitely not going to be a pig farmer anymore. <laughs> to say the least. I'll kill the man who did this. That you will, Gary. That you will. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> It's Garrett! <clears throat> Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! I'm home, bitches! <laughs> Help me. Garrett! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! Two White Hill soldiers and a Bolton. They killed my family. No, and they for did. what? My sister, she. She was only eight years old. Yeah, she's it's never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Meister. Thank you, Meister. Meister. <laughs> I, I said that, right? Yeah, I said it, right? Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Well, that's good. <laughs> your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. Yeah. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. It was justice. They got what they deserved. They did indeed. We can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Really? You want me to hold my own wound open? <laughs> That's fucked up, man. Are you worthless or something? Ugh, look at that. Oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's gross. Oh, that is so gross. And then you're gonna. Oh, oh. It's a dark days, I fear. Gross. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them and attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Okay. Although he is young. He is very young. You guys will find leave. out. <laughs> right. Uh, Twelve or this something. This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? Okay. Stitching me you up. Understand from your uncle that Lord <laughs> Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son Roderick. That's kind of fucked up to say. Himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. <coughs> Roderick had already fallen. There was nothing we could do. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. <coughs> I'd like you to walk for me first. Okay. See if you can put any weight on that leg. <sighs> Time to walk it off, you fucking scrub. <laughs> Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. All right. Circulate that blood, bitch. Medical supplies. Let's fucking just take this all. <laughs> Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? Uh, no, no, not yes. at all. They're not cute at all. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, just go ahead and step away from him. All right, let's loot this stuff, man. Hell yeah, give me some bandages, some 
fucking grizzled paper, apparently, or bandages, that apparently don't move. They just stay that same shape. <laughs> they smile. Oh, yeah, it'll help. Big time. That's... Tapestry, eh? Hmm. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. <laughs> you know me, greatest warrior of our time. <laughs> Mira. Still in King's Landing, I suppose. Hmm. Although, I wonder if they'll bring her home. Talia, Talia and Ethan. Ethan. I suppose Lord Ethan now. Asher. Asher. Exiled to Essos, unfortunately. Hmm. Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. She's always been kind to me. Treated me like I was a Forrester myself. Ryan. Never easy being the fourth born son. <laughs> Lord Forrester. It was an honor to squire for him. Gregor the Good. Gregor the Good. And then Roderick. Roderick. He was our best warrior by far. On the codex page, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Lord's chair. We're no longer Forrester, it'll be now Ethan. Ethan, as some might call him. <laughs> Alright, no no you look out a fucking window. Am I right guys? Am I right or am I right? Come on. I missed the stairs apparently. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. All right, gotta look around. Nothing else to check out. All right, let's go. Talk to him. Did your leg feel weak? No. Oh, I feel it's fucking terrible. Can you just I cut just it off? To ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. <coughs> There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone, which led to more killings of someone's, and then, well, here we are. <laughs> That's about the right gist. The White Hills want Forrester Ironwood. Ah, they'd take it all if we'd let them, especially now with the Boltons in power. And proceed to clear-cut every last inch of it until there's nothing left. Just as they've done before. Interesting. Who is the new lord of House Forrester? Why, Ethan, of course. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve whichever noble house I was assigned. Advising the late Lord Forrester was an honor. Advising Ethan, his third born son, is challenging. There's still so much he has to learn. That the is very true, yeah, the third born the son. This house rests in his hands. Which is rather frightening when you think about it. What will happen to me now? Excellent question. Hmm. Under normal circumstances, you could join Sir Roiland and his men. Although, given the circumstances of your... Circumstances. circumstances it becomes a bit <laughs> tricky, doesn't it? I suppose it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. Lord Forrester promoted me. At the Twins, I... I'm no longer a squire. If that matters. It might, I suppose. But I'll defer to Lord Ethan on this. Can I see Ethan? Is he here? He is. But I'm afraid he's indisposed at the moment. He prefers not to be disturbed while practicing his loot. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can I go now? <laughs> I don't mean to be a bother to our new lord. Fine. Any time will tell, but... Oh, Lady, Forrester. Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, Let me tell you. I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Me too. Off to bed now. Hurry on. Garrett was just telling me how badly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. 
I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. It was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. <laughs> you were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Rob Stark named him to lead the van for the march on Casterly Rock. A fitting tribute, no doubt. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us, especially the children. But I was told. I was told you were the last. Uh oh, they're gonna try and ask life. me about that secret, yes, aren't they? Lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask, was there yep, anything? Yep, they want that said? secret. They they both he had brought it up before he passed. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs, with his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. It's too dangerous, especially now. now okay, some two assholes come in through the door. Look at the dickheads. Given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royla. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. <coughs> Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his All right, retribution. Alright, a bit of dialogue. <laughs> We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. Ramsay Snow is coming here. Aye. He'll arrive within the week. Oh god, not Ramsay Those men will say Snow. they were keeping the peace in the name of House Bolton. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. My uncle's right. We need to be smart. Smart. Eddard Stark was smart. And look where that He just got a point. So, so was Rob Stark. He was smart. And now they're both dead. Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. <clears throat> I'm not faulting him for what he did. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just no, the excuse he got a point. Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk <sighs> we cannot take. They do have a great point. Which is why you cannot stay. No, I don't say that. Stay. Duncan. But, but where would I go? The one place beyond the reach of even House Bolton. The wall. You're sending him to the wall? The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Uncle, my place is here. Who would defend the house? <coughs> so we need men who can fight. There'd be nothing we could do to protect you. To stay would bring destruction upon us all. I know that's Fuck. not what you want, but I know it's difficult to understand. But you must think of the house. I won't put others at risk. I'll go. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it, settles it then. Alright, he said that twice, it's kinda weird. You can have my horse, <clears throat> and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. 